The Edge Church just isn't a church for me. It's my home. So I moved about a year ago from Texas, and we went to Fellowship Church, the campus in Grapevine, and absolutely could not have asked for a better church. Love that church. Aiden loves that church. And when we moved out here, I wasn't quite sure where to find a church. Last Easter, I received a mailer, and it was for this church that was at my son's elementary school. And so I'm thinking, okay, well, I mean, this is a place that he's already comfortable at, especially after moving, and figured why not, you know, try it out. So went to the Easter service and loved it. It had the exact same feel that I did when I would go to fellowship in Grapevine. So the next time we came back, they were actually having a sports camp after church that day for the kids, which I thought would be just great for my son to kind of get involved and meet some more kids, you know, his age that are in, you know, the area. So we go to the camp, and on the way to the camp, being that I was kind of new to the area, wasn't very familiar with where I was going or where the park that the camp was being held at um, was located, so I'm driving, and the first time ever in my life, I actually got into a pretty bad wreck right in front of the camp as we were turning in to go park. And it was a huge, huge impact for me and in my life. So as I'm realizing that this happened for a reason where it happened, I mean, it was totally in God's plan for this to happen this particular day, this particular place. and. It's amazing to me to think of, you know, after the fact that, you know, Ryan brought me and my son dinner that night, you know, like who, who does that? Who, you know, just out of the kindness of their heart goes out of their way and does that. On top of the fact, you know, I received emails, you know, the following two weeks, you know, with them letting me know that they're still praying for me. I mean, it wasn't just that it happened that day and they did something and then they forgot about it and went about their lives. I mean, they continued to pray for me and that meant more to me than words will ever be able to explain. Like, that's how I knew that that church was my home. 